Hi guys, Mike Hayden here from 24 Hour Solar Power. Um, yeah, just want to do a quick video on regarding what a real six kilowatt solar system is. Uh, went to a customer's site yesterday and he's like, you know, he runs on these 6.6 .6 kilowatt solar systems. Um, just want to show you how it works so you get an understanding. Now, in my opinion, they're actually only a five kilowatt solar system. Now, let me just show you. So in Australia, the rules and regulations are on a five kilowatt, so 5,000 watt inverter, you can put 6.6 .6 kilowatts. So you're allowed to put 33% more um, solar panels on the inverter. So we times that by 1.33, gives us 6.65 .6 kilowatts of um, solar we can whack on that five kilowatt inverter. Now, here's some examples of some um, quality, um, you know, solar systems here. So basically, um, you know, this is a um, yeah, five kilowatt inverter with six kilowatts of solar panels. We see here in summer it does about four kilowatts maximum. And um, here's another one. Uh, this one here's going to be on a different day. This is more recent, just from August. Um, here we go. So this system here, five kilowatt inverter, six kilowatts of solar panels. And sort of peaks at that four kilowatt. So you really only going to get in most most of the year about four kilowatt hours uh, of solar production um, from your inverter. If you get six point six kilowatts of panels and a five kilowatt inverter, consistently that's about what you're going to put on, unless you put really good quality panels on. Um, okay, so now let me just show you a six kilowatt inverter. Um, here we go. Let's find the Saturday, which was good. Just comparing the same with the others. Well, uh, Saturday the 24th, this is the day. Well, update. Um, okay, so yeah, so this is a 7.98 kilowatts of panels with a six kilowatt inverter. This is pretty consistent in the middle of the day at um, yeah, five kilowatts of energy. So the difference is, you know, you might say it's just really only one kilowatt hour per day. Uh, per hour, you know, uh, on average five hours a day, if we take that extra, you know, five extra kilowatt, so one times five hours a day, you get that extra one kilowatt, you got five times 365, it's an extra 1800 kilowatt hours per year that your system is going to produce. Now, with solar, uh, purple here is what the customer's consuming from the grid, uh, yellow is actually what the system's producing. And the blue and the brown inside here is all actually self-consumption. So the more you self-consume solar, I just use round numbers here. Uh, the average cost for energy in Australia is about 30 cents a kilowatt hour, uh, and the average feed-in tariff is about 10 cents. So the more you self-consume it, the better it's going to be for you. Uh, if you're feeding a lot of energy back to the grid, well, you're only going to get 10 cents. So just on those calculations, let's call it 15 cents times 0.15. So on average, about $273 extra benefit um, you're going to get as a customer from having the extra solar system up. This just times it by 10 years. So over 10 years, about $2,700 um, is what's actually going to be, you know, for you as a minimum for the customer. And the more you can self-consume that, the better it's going to be for you. So over the life of your system, over a 20-year period, you could actually get more than a $5,000 value on the current prices of energy today of just by installing a six, six a true six kilowatt solar system with a six kilowatt inverter, not a five kilowatt inverter. If you have the roof space, I really highly recommend it. One of the big reasons is everyone does five kilowatt because if you're in an urban environment, you can just whack up a five kilowatt and feed back. If you do put a six kilowatt up, it does actually add extra costs. Um, you require to add one of these things here called an energy meter. Um, so basically with an energy meter there's extra cost, so extra installation cost. This here is designed to hold the inverter back so it doesn't do more than five kilowatts feeding back to the grid. So if your system's producing, your inverter's producing five kilowatts and you're using 500 watts, your system's still going to produce and send five kilowatts back to the grid and you'll use the other 500. So um, does that extra cost. Administration time, um, if we are going to put a six kilowatt up for us, we do require to do extra things um, to get this system, you know, extra administration on our behalf to get a six kilowatt system up. 
compared to a five. So there is a few little extra costs, and for you as a customer, it's actually worth it, in my opinion. Um, this system here is a system I want to show you. It's a really old system. Uh, when I say really old, it's about five years old. Um, it's a five kilowatt inverter with six kilowatts of really good quality panels. Um, these are actually the SunPower E-Series panels, which is one of our favorite panels, one of our best-selling panels. Uh, as you can see, using the E-Series panels, this system's actually doing more than what it's rated to, so it um, really does the job. It's five years old, and that's the important thing with solar is that degradation is um, will your you know cheap solar system in five years' time still be doing five kilowatts? Well, very li very unlikely. If you get a 6.6 .6 kilowatts panels and a five kilowatt inverter, um, you know it's only going to do about four kilowatts consistently most of the year. So very unlikely in five years' time that it's going to be doing anywhere near that, you know, five kilowatts. So hope this has been educational, uh, and I really recommend yeah if you've got the roof space, always put up as many panels as you can. Um, because one of the biggest expenses, you know, in Australia's labour is adding those solar panels in the future is going to be a big cost. So max out your roof in the first place and put the biggest inverter possible and export limit to your five. Thanks, guys. I hope it's been educational. And, yeah, if you like this video, share it with your network. And also don't forget, jump over YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any videos.